Alrighty then, welcome back, welcome back. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. In case I hadn't mentioned it, uh, Newsmax TV is the fastest growing cable network in America. You can get Newsmax TV in 70 million homes. And uh, if you're not getting it, you got to call your cable operator and say, I want my Newsmax. That's what I'm doing. Um, we're in the quarantine studios here in Staten Island, New York, in my living room. And uh, all kinds of crazy things happening, including the market seems to be leveling out right here. Um, and one of the best market tacticians I know, Hillary Kramer, joins us right now. Hello, Hillary. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Hillary, um, I know you and I have been going back and forth about where we might find the bottom here. I had uh, hypothesized around 18,000. Um, you think right around here it, it could be a, a point of inflection where people could stop buying? There are specific sectors that absolutely this is the opportunity to buy. The overall market may still take a step down. It could even be a 10 to 15 percent step down, especially if we have some major bankruptcies. The way like Boeing just brought down the entire Dow. But I do see some some big buying opportunities and I bought today. Give our audience, I know you're not giving out any financial advice, but if you're buying with your level of expertise and acumen, there must be something people need to know. Can you give them a little hint on what you're buying? Sure. I'm buying Valvoline VV. That's the quick, quick lube stations. It's an incredible company. It's an $11 stock, you know, down from $26. Uh, of course, you many of them are closed it. right now, but even if car sales don't come back, people still need, you know, there's going to be this sort of pent up demand. For lube. And then, of course, uh, there are other companies that are very similar to that. I like General General Parts, GPC. It was $110 in December, and the stock is now $58 and a 5.4% dividend yield. Uh, and let me just add that Valvoline is a 4.1% dividend yield. And I also bought today, this is going to sound very um, kind of risky, but Ulta. Ulta is the Amazon of cosmetics. It They sell all different cosmetics, um, perfumes, everything for personal improvement. And it's really a destination store. And they're very much like what Chewy is to pet food today. Right. People are going to yeah. Chewy.com instead of Amazon. <laughs> Chewy, by the way, which has been going up in this market, not down. So Ulta, it's $163. It's up 11%. In my newsletter, we did 20% on it yesterday. We bought in the morning. We sold in the afternoon. 20%, not on an option, on the actual stock. It's been between $124 and $368 right. in the last two weeks. So I love that. And then, Dix, you were talking about gun sales. Okay, so in terms of Dix, Dix... Yeah. $18 stock, a 7% dividend yield. Models is going out of business. Um, Sports Authority out of business. Uh, Dix has closed. They took a big charge because they closed uh, half of their hunting department, but they have the other part open. Look, maybe, maybe baseball season is canceled for everything from Little League to the major leagues, but it doesn't mean it's not going to come back next year. It doesn't mean there won't be, again, pent up. Take that seven percent dividend yield at Dix. DK. I like it. I like it. I like it. And uh, you know, if Models is closing down, it makes sense that Dix is going to get bigger. Um, and I think uh, it might it might be a good place to look because no no matter what, people are going to look for recreation. Um, Val, uh, Hillary, I want to thank you so much. Um, she is the author of Game Changer Investing. She knows more about the market than probably most of the men I've, if not all of the men I've ever had on the show. And, uh, you know, you got to tune in also to her nationally syndicated radio show heard here in New York on AM 970. Hillary, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us today for a few minutes. Thank you. You're the bomb. <laughs> all right. Um, we're going to take a quick break right here, and um, we're going to come back with uh, all the news you need to know. I want to just say in my final minute right here that, um, you know, sometimes these are reflective moments. And uh, yesterday, while we were moving the whole studio to Staten Island, my team, everyone, Steve, Kyle, Nico, Adam, Derek, my whole team stepped up. We were here late at night. My kids came over last night because they wanted to hang out for a little bit, too. And, uh, you know, when everyone was gone, I sat down at the table and played a game of apples to apples with my kids. 
and I probably haven't done that in like five years. So uh, break your habits that you've been used to and sit down and play a game with your kids and hug them tight tonight because you never know what could happen here. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with more Liquid Lunch for you right after this. <laughs> 